Hi, I'm Alex, I'm a PJ Gold Professional and welcome down to the channel. We're here at Motion Hall on the 18th tee and this is what I want you to speak to you today about. You're not improving, are you? Or you have spits and spats of where you're improving. Now, for me, you're not twisting your wrists enough to get to the top. I see it on a daily basis and I see your comments on a daily basis saying, Alex, how do I get my club face square? All well, this is exactly how, and for me, the route to longer, straighter shots with the driver, and of course with the irons too. Let's get into it. So all you're gonna need is a tee peg and a glove. Now, I know some of you might not wear a glove, but if you have a pair of wet gloves uh, that you put on when it's raining, just use one of them. So, open up your glove and place a tee peg just in there. It just maybe sometimes take a little bit of fiddling and to get it correct, but look how I've got it set up just there, right? Pointing directly out. So we're talking top of the backswing and I just wanna sort of show you a few things here. So imagine I've swung this golf club to the top of the backswing like this here. Anytime that we have a wrist position with a neutral grip or a weak grip, let's say, that is a little bit cupped like this, we tend to see an open club face. Anytime we get a wrist position that is bowed over, we tend to get a more of a closed club face. So in my opinion, as a golf coach, what I like to see people do is sort of being flat to this space because so many of us are in the cup space. Now, come on, let's bring this to life, come down the line. Because if I give you an example of what I'm talking about here, swinging to the top and I've now got a really cup wrist. If I swing down, I'm not gonna do anything to my wrist. If I swing down, look where my club face is pointing. Quite a long way out to the right. Now, most of us try and counteract that by swinging over the top, causing whoo, that big curve from left to right. And we know we're leaking distance and losing golf balls. So how are you to think about this? Anytime that you are cupped at the top of the backswing, you're gonna to have to feel as though you have a last minute save through impact in order to achieve hitting this golf ball straighter. Now, please do get down in those comments. How many of you can relate to this? By the way, who do you think is gonna win USPGA this week? Get down in those comments. Tigers play in, and I think Phil Mickelson is. So get down in those comments. I'd love to hear who you think is gonna win. Tiger for the comeback. <laughs> um, so, sorry, as I was saying, how many of you can relate to this? Pretty good with their seven iron, eight iron pitching wedge and managed to hit them relatively straight. As you go to those longer clubs, like sort of six iron, five iron, and maybe into your hybrids, and then especially into your driver, you leak distant, you don't really see the ball go much further, and it leaks considerably off to the right. I know most of us have been there, because I have been there, and this is why. So, you fix. The best thing about this drill is, is that you can really get some good awareness. You can also hit some gold balls with it. Now, what are we looking to do? All I want you to think about achieving is, can I get this tee peg to feel as though it points to the sky? Now, in reality, I'm looking for it just to point over my head or above my head, not cupped, but I want you to feel like you get it pointing to the sky because if you feel that, we tend to find the middle ground between cupped and bowed when we hit the shot. So, what I want you to feel is just this. So that feels like it's really bowed to me, but in reality, have a look on that close up where that tee peg's pointing. It's sort of just pointing sort of towards the sky, as opposed to sort of down towards the ground in this sort of direction. So I want you to hit a few shots. I'm gonna stand there, really exaggerate this feeling of getting that boldness at the top. Baby draw. The caution with this, if you do start hitting a few pull shots, don't worry because what we're doing is we're squaring your club face up to your path. We're giving you a lot more control. So that's gonna feel a lot more powerful. So don't worry if you start to hit some pull shots. Stick with it and then see your golf ball flight go a little bit straighter. But what I'm telling you today is you're not improving because you're cupped and then having to do a last minute save. So just like this rather than 
nice and square at the top, I can then do a lot less to achieve a more centered hit, a more square hit. And you know what? We're gonna enjoy those hits way, way more. Thanks so much for watching. Use this T-peg drill to get a more square club face at the top. Nice and logical. More square at the top, you have to do less into impact.